So grain is a cooking school. Uh, my first venture, uh, my first dream in Vietnam, and it's um, a cookery school to show showcase Vietnamese cuisine. You know, it's wonderful ingredients, and trying to demystify what Vietnamese food really is. Um, I want people in Vietnam to um, get back to their roots and start cooking again, especially the younger generation. And people who come to Grain are um, from all walks of life. From abroad, um, they're coming to Vietnam as a tourist, so they want to learn more about the food that they're eating. Um, we have local people who come in here that want to learn more about creating Vietnamese food in a different way, you know, because I take street food as my my inspiration, so I bring street food dishes to another level, uh, to a restaurant level. These dishes I can serve at my restaurant back in Australia at Red Lantern. Um, uh, by presenting it differently, uh, making it simple for people to cook at home. And also we do a lot of team building here as well. So we have a lot of corporate companies come in and bring uh, 80 to 100 um, uh, members and we cook together and uh, learn how to work as a team doing that. I've been taking a lot of uh, guests from abroad to Vietnam and we do, I do culinary tours. So I start from the north and we travel from the north all the way down south trying a lot of street food, a lot of hidden restaurants as well and a lot of cooking, right? Because all of my guests are foodies, big massive foodies from Australia, New Zealand, America and the UK as well. And um, uh, going to all the Vietnamese cooking classes are fantastic but I wanted to really create one in Ho Chi Minh right in the middle of Saigon that's purpose built and it's a professional cooking school. We're on Hai Jung, right in District 1, and we have a massive space. We have two different classes. We have um, a more intimate classroom, which uh, seats around 20, all hands-on. Um, and then I've got a, um, a purpose-built market pantry. So if, well, when I teach a, a dish, the guests would learn that, would take notes, and then they'll go to the market, which is right here at Grain, and choose all their fresh ingredients. We show them how to choose a, um, a great green mango. We show them the difference between perilla leaf, Vietnamese mints, and then we show them um, how to choose the perfect lemongrass, for example, and what galangal is, and demystifying all the unusual, unique ingredients of Vietnam. And then I've got um, our main classroom here, which um, can sit 40 people hands-on, or we can do groups of, of um, 10, eight groups of 10 for team building. Well, the name Grain came about um, when I was filming MasterChef Vietnam. MasterChef Vietnam has been fantastic. It's brought Vietnamese cuisine to an international level, right? I want Vietnamese food to be world class. You know, we all know about Japanese food. We all spend a lot of money on Japanese food. We all spend a lot of money on Chinese food. What about Vietnamese food? You know, uh, it's been around for a long time, right? So I find Vietnamese cuisine being the the most refined in Southeast Asia. And so through MasterChef, I wanted to portray that. And um, I wanted also to introduce um, MasterChef Junior to Vietnam. And by doing that research, I found that a lot of our young kids can't actually cook, right? Um, they can do eggs and they can do instant noodles, but that's about it. What happened to our cooking culture? Um, my generation has it. For sure, my parents' generation has it, but the younger generation really need to get in touch with that again, you know, to be able to find out where produce is grown. I mean, Vietnam has such green thumbs. We're, we're agricultural. We're the biggest rice producer in the world, yet some young children don't know where rice comes from or how it's cultivated. So um, we eat rice every, almost every day through rice paper, through uh, steamed rice, through uh, rice noodles. Where does that grain come from and how does it become what it is? So um, that's where the name grain came about. And from that small grain, you know, we've got this abundance of food which we call Vietnamese cuisine. So let's get back to, back to um, the roots of Vietnam and start cooking again. And so here I do a lot of cooking classes with um, young kids. And when they come here, they love it. Get them off the computer and bring them here, show them the produce at the market and get them using a, a knife safely, learning how to choose a great um, ingredient and cooking in a way that's fresh, that's healthy. Right? I find that the younger generation aren't eating as well anymore. Um, so I want them to start cooking again and appreciating where food comes from and appreciating Vietnamese culture and history of food.